Good morning, guys. Tanner here with SDK Cattle and Hay. Don't know if you guys can see this stuff. There's water dripping off everything. We went I don't know, 30, 45 days without a uh, without any rain, which I've still got crabgrass and sand burrs over knee high on. Uh, about 270 acres that I've got. I've got this back 80 that's still suffering from past management, but it'll get a rest probably until spring rolls around. I just put four horses on there. It's 80 acres. I don't think they're going to hurt anything too bad. But well, what's your deal? So across the fence here, we'll talk about what's in the pen here here in a little bit, but. So these are the uh, uh, coal cows. Um, I don't know why that one's getting ridden right now. These were all preg checked uh, three weeks ago and confirmed bred. Um, this one, that said she was about seven months. Um, well, she's not seven months. Wasn't seven months then, not seven months now. Uh, when I checked her back in March, I called her three months, so I think that's a little closer. Um, but that heifer getting ridden, she is a, is the one that had a aborted calf mid, uh, mid calving season this year. So I might just take, sort her off and take her to the cell barn, but these are the ones that ended up bred. Um, the ones that ended up, came up open, took them to the sale barn and brought about $1,500 a head for them. Um, and that's, I'd call that acceptable for heifers that I paid, uh, around six, $650 per head on. So I'd. I'd sure hope I can uh, run some calves for a year for a thousand bucks. It was a little expensive getting through the drought, but I don't think we touched a thousand dollars. And I'm going to say these bred heifers ought to bring another thousand dollars over what their open sisters did. So should and then there's a couple Coriannies in here like her she is just came up bred late um, this girl here at the orange tag uh, she came up open she was a first calf heifer um, <coughs> she's got a sister oh there it is back there with the crooked down horn she's half Coriannie um, she came up open as a first calf heifer uh, this Coriannie here I don't know she's eight years old she still came up open but everything else in here is the first calf heifer uh, they're averaging around 750 pounds so you got the old Hereford out there I think she's eight uh, I'd have to check the list but she came up open last year so but she's bred now so she'll get passed down the road someone will get to uh, start a herd with these girls so today is bull catching day got Javier he's here cleaning up some weeds he's the quarter quarter half uh, Coriani Mashona Red Angus Bull from PCC there's Mr. Noonal He's the Hereford uh, um, Red Aberdeen Cross. So, there's good small calves. A lot of these baldies in here are out of him. He, uh, he sure left his mark on the herd last year. But we've got our first calf heifers. 
like this girl here. I don't know if she'll breed or not. She is a little on the small side, but uh, that girl, that's the first calf half her. It's half Corianni. But I just run, run my regular bulls, which they're all calving ease PCC bulls, or that one, he's Aberdeen. Aberdeen's throw really small calves. So not too worried about having to pull anything but I ran ran those three those two bulls in here for uh, uh, tw or for 45 days they were got put in first or the last day of uh, July today is September 15th and we're gonna pull those two bulls out I'll probably give them a week and go grab one of my PCC Red Angus bulls for cleanup. But that'll give me a little space to know um, who sired what, which obviously I should be able to tell um, calves between a solid red bull and a red baldy. Um, as far as I can tell, the uh, Noonal, the red baldy, puts a little white or a lot of white on every single one of his calves. So, this guy, he's out of my PCC red Angus bull. I wish he didn't have horns or I'd, I'd keep him as a herd bull myself. I like that color. But he's half Corianny. <laughs> I don't see his mom right offhand, but she's a red Corianny. Kind of got a... She got a pretty good set of horns and a dark red mask. So, anyways, I'm gonna. Um, I think next year. Um, well, this will be Noonal's last year. I'm gonna take him, and he'll go to a different family member, whether it's my dad or granddad. I don't know, but one of them will get to use Noonal next for until he for the rest of his service life, and I'll be buying a new. Uh, PCC bull this November at the Alabama sale and uh, I will probably sell my other Red Angus PCC bull named Hobbs um, to help pay for pay for the new bull but I think the plan from here on out is to uh, run one bull for 21 days Pull a bull out for a week, run the next bull for 21 days, pull him out for a week, and run another bull for 21 days. And in essence, that will uh, that'll give me a break between each bull. Um, I'll run my youngest bull by himself for the first 21 days, and at that that point in his life he should be uh about 28 months old so it, he should according to the kit pharaoh breeding philosophy he should be able to handle twice as many cows as a uh, as your conventional bulls which would put him handling close to 60 cows so we'll put it to the test and if he fa if that bull fails I'll have another bull coming behind him and another bull after that. So it'll that will reduce my uh, inbreeding uh, chances since I keep every one of my heifers. Um, but that'll reduce the inbreeding amount and uh, it will uh, uh, give my new bull the most, should give the newest bull the most genetics in the ranch mm. that first season he's out and uh, he'll phase himself out over the course of three years so that's my goal Noonal has been out here for um, he's four years old now so he's been running with the cows for three years and so he's 
he has made a large impact on the herd. Like I said, this last season, he, I returned all three bulls out for 45 days, which would have been Noonal, uh, my Red Angus Hobbs, and Red Angus um, uh, named Grass Guy. And I turned all of them out at the same time for 45 days, and over half of these calves are red baldies. Right now, I'm waiting to show you guys something that good reason to cull calves or cows. So, this old cow is Corianne. I'm saying she's close to 14 years old. She has no teeth, she's not worth anything to anyone. But that's her calf from last year. That's a Oh, 16, 18 month old calf. She still allows it to nurse. And she has another calf in this pen somewhere. I don't remember its number. I have it written down in my pickup. But she allows her calf to nurse. She breeds back every year. She's not worth anything to anyone else. So the minute she comes up open, she's going to make a... I don't know. She's not going to make a lot of hamburger, but there might be 100 pounds of meat left on her. <laughs> might be better for jerky. I need to find someone that can make them into jerky. But really aggravates me when they don't do that. I Every other cow in here is in here with their heifer from last year. They were never weaned. And it, between her and there is one Hereford in here. Here she is see the red baldy calf in the back kind of looking at us by the post that thin Hereford right there that re red baldy calf is still nursing her and that Hereford is one I purchased so don't know anything about her and she has a calf on her this year so um, it's 330 something but Anyways, you can tell it's drug the cow down. That 18 month old heifer, she sure looks good. <laughs> I don't know if she'll come up bred. I've heard from multiple sources that the act of nursing uh, reduces a uh, first calf heifer's fertility. And they they have a hard time getting bred as long as they're nursing. So in nature, this cow's genetics would not go any further. She might not make it through a winter if she keeps getting drugged down like that. Um, I think she's only a four-year-old cow. So if she keeps getting drugged down, I, uh, I don't see her making it long term matter of fact i highly suspect she's gonna come up open this year so just part of, part of culling your herd um i'll be be getting rid of her <laughs> and you got cows back to the same corner look at this heifer that cory any raises one of the nicest heifers or, or steers. She's got the biggest bull, biggest steer in the steer pasture. But she always raises just a nice calf. Other than you could tell her head's shaped a little more like a Corianne. At weaning time, being that she's out of a straight red Angus, she's pulled and you won't be able to tell, hardly tell that she's a, a crossbred. But this rain's nice. It's nice getting to walk through your cows and get rained on. It rained 2.6 inches on Monday night. And uh, it's just been a slow drizzle every day for... Sorry guys, your camera guy messed up. I was trying to turn his lens around and uh, he might've hit the stop button. 
So, you're going to get a splice there. Anyways. So, uh, as I'm talking about this girl, she's um, 12 or 13 years old. But if you look in here at her eyes, she's starting to get cancer in the whites of her eyes. You can see where it's swelled up. Um, see it on this side too. Um, she's still raising the calf. She'll get docked real hard at a sale barn. As soon as she comes, if she comes up open, she'll be, she'll be going to the beef, beef freezer. Um, she's been a real good cow. There's been quite a few of her genetics left in this herd. So, and all of her calves have been really fertile. So, that's the last of the, uh, my original cows I bought in 2011. She's the last of the Mohicans. Everything else has either been raised by me or purchased over the years. So. Most of these, all these Corianis have been purchased. Some of the heifers were uh, inside heifers that I had purchased. Um. So, it's amazing. You can buy a pen full of open Corianni heifers and uh, come up with over half of them have a Corianni calf or half Corianni calf in them. Bred, bred to their brothers and dad and who knows what at that point. But that girl, she raises a pretty good calf. Um, she doesn't calve the first of every season, but she, she gets one every year in the first 60 days, so, uh, I guess that's acceptable. Well, I guess it, she gets it in the first 45 days. She's in the first two cycles. Then you got this longhorn back here. She's freeloading. Uh, she keeps coming up open. And she's going to make a good lawn ornament for someone's wife, not mine. Mine has already said just get rid of her. So um, it's technically her cow. So uh, we're. Uh, just trying to get her bread, add some value to her. Um, I don't think, she's not eating too much. She's not a big cow, so we're just gonna, gonna deal with her and put up with her for a little while longer and hopefully she's bred in the spring and someone buys her. She won't be real expensive, but she might be a couple hundred dollars, worth a few hundred dollars more then, so. We'll see, but there's a good chance this spring I'll be selling um, all these Hereford, Hereford cows. Anything that looks pretty well straight Hereford, like her. Um, they'll, these are, they're all either Hereford or high percentage. Um, she'll be probably going, it's a first calf heifer. But, um, I think there's between six and ten. I, I don't remember for sure, but that'll be probably, probably be part of my, uh, spring cow sales. And they'll be the, they're not, not technically coals. It's just to keep a young cow herd. Um, I, uh, try and try and group up a find a group of uh cattle that look alike let's see this cow here she'll i'll sell her with them she's at least three quarters her for i've raised her but just to keep a uh, young cow herd i just kind of lump together 
a group of a uh, group of cows that look a lot look alike and uh, I'll market that so next year there might be might be black baldies might be red baldies might be solid colors so I think we're gonna be moving more towards um, solid colored bulls for the future so I might buy a Hereford bull eventually but or maybe a white faced south pole um, but until that happens we'll probably go a few seasons with solid red bulls so anyways I think I sat here and flapped my jaw for long enough or uh I need to get these two bulls sorted off. The cows kicked out in their new pasture. Mineral moved and get to uh, uh, get to moving things around. I got some hay to stack. So loving this rain though, guys. So it's a big answered prayer. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See you next time.